Meanwhile, many are wondering how a violent offender can get out without bun and commit a heinous act. 18 year old Jalen Lobley, one of the suspects, died in the shootout with police. And you know, it was not his first run in with police. Our April Thompson joins us now after learning more about Jalen Lobley. April, what do you know? Greg, when 18 year old Jalen Lobley got into a gun battle with police this morning, it was on the heels of being released without bond from jail at 201 Poplar. But for the crimes he was in for, many are asking, why was he out in the first place? 18 year old Jalen Lobley was no stranger to Memphis police. We found court documents related to his arrest just last month, an affidavit connecting him to two car thefts on March 2nd and 3rd. March 5th, police were called to a Whitehaven home on Richland, listed as Lobley's address for a suspicious vehicle. They say they found Lobley asleep in the driver's seat. They say he had a Glock 19 9 millimeter handgun, which had a Glock switch attached that turned it into an automatic machine gun, which police chief C.J. Davis mentioned Friday morning after Lobley's deadly encounter with police. He was also charged at that time for two stolen vehicles and having a programming device commonly used to steal cars. Lobley was jailed, but the next day, a judicial commissioner gave him a $10,000 bond. At a bail hearing, another commissioner released him on his own recognizance with only a curfew from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy's office said, our office strongly argued against lowering the bond, citing the defendant's danger to the community. Despite our arguments, the commissioner approved the ROR bond, highlighting a problem people have been complaining about in the courts. Criminals getting out and committing more crimes. We went to Lobley's home, as many ask. Why was an 18-year-old out at 2 a.m.? especially now that we know he had been put on a curfew. When we reached his mother by phone, she told us, do you think I really want to talk to you when my son was just killed? But many in the community just wonder, when will it stop? Children involved crime in the city is really getting out of hand. It's ridiculous. Um, but there has to, more has to be done. It has to be done. Parents have to be held accountable for their children says they had identified Lobley as a high-risk offender and they were actively prioritizing his case for federal prosecution. Of course, all of that came to a deadly end this morning. In the newsroom, April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3.